All right, so I have this page in front of you so we can look at different birds, the different colors, the different background, um, and the shapes that they have. Many of these have similar wing shapes and beak shapes, but they're like looking sideways, they're looking up, um, and one beak is open and one's closed. So maybe think about that and maybe we can add some leaves on this one. We're gonna stick to drawing um, and so, cause many of you might just have like uh, paper and crayons and a pencil. So we're gonna stick to that idea. If you want to draw a bird in pencil and paint him cause you have paint, by all means you can do that. I think this one would have been nice with a watercolor background in blue. So that's another option. I have a piece of white cardboard that I think I showed you in my videos. And I'm going to use that one and see how that works for this next drawing, okay? The other thing you have to do is decide, do you want your, your artwork to be this way or do you want it to be sideways, um, horizontal? All right, we're ready to try another style of a bird drawing. I have chosen this yellow bird because it looks really, really simple. And I'm thinking that you can try that with me. I'm not gonna draw the branch until I get the body done. Add the head and the beak. I might add some green leaves in the background and I think those berries would be fun. So let's try. So the first line that I see is a curved line that starts up high and goes downhill. So we're gonna try that. Leave room for the head. I'm gonna go up. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I wanna make sure I give enough room for his whole body. So starting down here, and I could do his whole thing. I'm just gonna start right where his body starts. I'll do his head later. We're gonna do the, the belly. Okay, so we're just gonna do, almost look like the shape of a lemon, if I was gonna draw a lemon and close the ends off. All right, the tail is gonna go off the paper. So that was just two lines. And then we can draw the feet coming out this way. Maybe I'll do two lines. When two lines like this run next to each other, they're called parallel. Now I have a trick for the toes of the bird, the feet and the bird to show, to look like it's hanging on to the branch that I want you to try. Okay, so now we're gonna just go to, go to the head. So I'm gonna start here, just come out here, make that, and then his beak is a triangle. Look at that, and then his eye. Now mine's not exactly like that one, and I just, okay, it's fine. I do want to do this wing line and it's just, it follows the same line as this one. So when you're drawing and things aren't turning out the way you think they should, it's okay. Just be nice to yourself um, and do your best. And that every time you do a drawing, you get practice. So that looks like a hill. That's kind of my branches. Watch this trick. So I'm going to do a parallel line to the one I just drew, which means it's going to follow the one that I just did. Now watch this. I'm going to put two lines, two lines, two lines, two lines. They're curved and it looks like the bird is hanging on to the branch. Okay, so because these are miniature artworks, they don't take very long and it's really fun to do them um, because of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just make my own leaf shape. I'm gonna come up here and make a leaf. That means his tail won't be showing, so I will put that in front. I'm not really liking that little angle there, so I'm just making my adjustments that I like. You would do the same. Um, how about if we bring in a leaf from the bottom? Now this is me just thinking creatively. I'm gonna make a line down the leaf. I like that, even though there are no lines in their leaves. Um, could I make another branch coming through? Let's bring a branch down from the tree. Maybe there's another leaf here. Okay, I think that's good. So this artwork is just a miniature bird drawing. 
Now we call these different things. I call them artist trading cards because they're miniature artworks. And in some schools and in some places, kids make and adults make these and then they trade them. Now, most of the time we have not traded them. So if we ever want to get it to the point where you want to, we can also think about that. But this is going to be your own collection. It's like a collection of baseball cards or Pokemon cards. So you know me, I like my Sharpie markers. If you don't have a Sharpie marker, you can use an ink pen because an ink pen will trace it. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Let's see if I can find my black pen. I'm going to use the blue one. So just for fun, you could even trace with a blue ink pen. Just be careful not to smear it. Because it does make it line, the lines darker than the pencil. Now, that's another idea. You could do a bird drawing with ink pen where you trace the whole bird in ink pen on purpose, okay? I'm gonna give you guys that option too. All right, now, just for fun, I have oil pastels, so I'm gonna go ahead and try my oil pastels. Many of you might not have oil pastels, so you could just make sure you have your crayons and do those. So these are my oil pastels, and we've used them at school before, and they go down pretty quick and easy. Crayons do too. And they're really kind of more vibrant colors. Yellow. The pack that I have has lots of greens. The ones we have at school have the two greens. And this is going to allow me to do this pretty quickly in front of you. And I'm not looking any for anything with great detail. You guys are supposed to be working 15 minutes. Um, I know this will probably take you longer because you have to watch the videos. Um, so just start and stop when you need to. I'm looking for one or two by the holidays. So by the time we get to December, if you can have at least two done, um, more is great. You know, take your time and watch videos here and there when you have extra time in the evening or on the weekends. And we'll talk about that as we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do his foot in black. I'm going to use this crayon. So I'm using the crayon because it's skinnier. I can get in there. So what's left for me to do? I think the beak and I think the background. So friends, if you look at the, I kept it pretty simple. I just did a regular yellow and I did um, a little dark green, oops, on the leaves with the, with the light green to add a little difference. And we're gonna do blue, pick a pretty blue. I have, a, I have a trick for oil pastels. If any of you are, are you do have oil pastels, um, you can do a light color of a background. Like I said before, it takes a lot of patience to watch. Um, so if you want to fast forward through this, you may. The main part I want to share with you is how to start with your pencil and then how it looks when it ends. So that's this color. Now I want you to watch what I do. I'm gonna take white and I'm gonna do that blending. So if I take white and I go over the blue really hard, it changes and blends with that color. And this is a special uh, quality about oil pastels, is that they blend on top. But my tip is always do the bottom layer lightly. You don't press hard. And this top color is the blender color. Now I will be giving you some bird 
photos so that you have something to look at as you're drawing. Okay, there he is. Love it. Don't forget your name. Um, I'm going to put my name with a Sharpie. Pretend that I'm in fourth grade. Mrs. Glover's class, whatever your class is. Make sure you have your name on your, your artwork. Okay. That's, a, that's it. I'll see you soon and you have fun making your miniature artworks.